at Iceland Fall? Okay, send a car right over. Be reasonable, Annabelle. You know you can't ride around with us while we're on duty. But you promised me riding your police car ever since we were married. I'll take you for a ride the first chance I get. Calling car 78. Calling car 78. Hey, Schmaltz, that's us. Oh, dear. Keep still a moment. Investigate fight and general disturbance at Iceman's Ball, held in Harmony Hall, Corner Grand and Locust. Step on it, Dugan. I'll see you at home, Annabelle. I don't know what happened, but whatever it was, it was a big success. Well, personally, I resent it. You don't think for one minute, Grouse Stark, that they're going to get away with this, do you? I know my rights. We'll go in there and demand an explanation. my taxes for. What is it? What's up? Everything but your eyelid. We found one of your radio cars down the street. We stole it. I, I, I mean, we think we, it was stolen from some policeman. It's outside now. Car 78. <laughs> well, much obliged. If we had more citizens like you, things would be easy for us cops. I'll debate with you on that. <laughs> That's the spirit. You said it, Sergeant. <laughs> well, so long. Well, so long. Drop in sometime when you can stay long. Oh, no. That's why we're leaving now. Oh, Sarge, have a smoke. One that you can chew. Thanks. Hey, look, here they come. Get back in your box. Quick, Ralph Stark, hide, hide. Where? In that door there. Turn the knob. Turn the knob, you tap. So, you're back, eh? Fine officers you are. We can explain it. We you two are suspended for six weeks without pay. Take your uniforms off. I knew this would happen. Hey, what are you trying to do? Lay it all on me? We're laid off for six weeks now. <laughs> Did you ever try it? No, but I'm trying it now, and so are you. Yeah, well, it's not very pleasant, I'll tell you that. Say, if I ever get my hands on those two guys. Hey, move over. Keep this aisle clear. What do you think this is, a park? Hey, fellas. Oh, new men, huh? Yes, sir, brand new, strictly fresh. Mm. I'm the new commissioner, Commissioner Walters. Commissioner Walrus? Not Walrus, Walters. Well, the resemblance is there. <laughs> Remember, from now on, the rule of this department is courtesy. Station <laughs> Car 78. It's right outside. We got free wheeling. No. What? No free wheeling? What kind of a station house is this, anyway? Patrol your district. And don't pick up any women in your car. Oh, how could you think such a thing, Commissioner? You little rascal, you. That's all. We go, and our motto is, never a help, always a hindrance. Come on, Gustav. Okay. No tricks there, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> you 
He grabbed Sarge, they gave us the car. Honesty is the best policy. Calling car 78. Hey, Sarge! Listen. The nudist cult is having a parade. The nudist cult is having a parade. Nudist cult? Where? On top of the mountain, that is all. That's enough. I hope this car can climb mountains. Hold on to your hat! <laughs> this is the life. Oh, boy! <laughs> Calling car 78. Important order concerning last broadcast. What was it? Keep all women away from the mountains, as there are only men parading nude. Hey, don't ever startle us like that again, you cad, you. Oh, yeah? That is all. Oh, look, a pip. Watch me do my stuff. Hello, sweet patootie. Pardon me. Ajax defying the lightning bug. Well, scratch my back and look who's here. Pardon me, are we going your way? I don't know. <laughs> I was just going to a movie. That's fine. We'll all go to a movie together. Step right in. Always the galant. There you are. Are you comfy? Perkins to the cinema in low gear. Okay, boss. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. cops have got our old car, and they're doing the same thing we used to do. More power to them. Yeah, but listen. The woman they've got with them is your wife. What? Where are they? 647 Elm Avenue. I guess that's the bell for the ice, how it is. Hey! hey. The police! All God's children's got wings. <laughs> Get a load of the ink. That's just exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, mini, mini, manamo, I'll take this. The biggest frog's leg I've ever seen. <laughs> Grab a pie, Grouse Stark. Here's one. What are you going to do with the pie? Grouse Stark, deep down in your heart, you know that sooner or later somebody's going to get that pie. <laughs> I get it. I wouldn't be surprised if you were right. <laughs> oh, boy, are we going to have fun. Come on, men. Duty call. Over the top. <laughs> Splendid. 
Splendid, lady. I thank you. That's quite all right, Chubby. Hey, boys, what was that song you were playing? Yeah. Oh, yes. Calling car 78. Calling car 78. Two men have joined the party. They are causing all the disturbance. Oh. Oh. I'm in charge here. I tell you, I can't sleep. Well, you certainly came to the right place. Come on. Come on. Huh? Believe it or not, I want you to meet Long Shirt Charlie, the man who can't sleep. Oh, oh, Charlie. Oh, 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 <laughs> calling car 78. Calling car 78. Oh, this is annoying. Car 78, where are you? We're here. What do you want? The party at Elm Avenue is getting wilder and louder. You're telling me. <laughs> at last, fair lady, we are alone. So, Grouse Star, insubordination, eh? After all, you know, I brought Annabelle here. Oh, all right. Well, may you hang your head in shame, you poacher, you. He's not the type at all for you, me pretty pigeon. Oh, Annabelle, when I look into your eyes, I feel... I feel... What? A lemon pie. Curse that grouse start for a theme. This is not only unromantic, but very sticky. Pardon me while I do the dishes. Speaking about Annabelle. My eyes. Oh, Annabelle, it's women like you who make men like me, make women like you, make men like me. Are you listening? You'll find the barber shop in the basement. Go away from there. Can't you see I'm busy? Are you here yet? Can't you take a hint? You see that, don't you? That's the law. Get away from that window or I'll put you where the dogs won't bite you. Go on. Who was it? A peeping Tom, and one of the worst kind, a peeping Tom with pyorrhea. But as I was saying, Annabelle... Oh, we've no privacy here at all. Let's go somewhere else. All right, we'll go up on the roof. Good. And take our deep breathing exercises. Calling car 78. A sedate old gentleman in a nightgown reported missing. Foul play suspected. Try to find the poor old man. <laughs> laying around. I just sat down on one of them. Well, I knew it. I've eaten four of them already. Trying to get pie eye eh? <laughs> I don't care what you do with it. Give it to somebody. Come on, Annabelle. We'll finish our tete tay in the cellar. Calling car 78. You're neglecting official business. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Very important. Official business. Hold it. a little gypsy in me. Oh, I'm sure <laughs> there is, Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, that's all right, my dear. I've been around a bit, and I think I'm going to like you. Oh, naughty, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you'd make a cute policeman. <laughs> Calling car, 7-8. Wait till the commissioner hears about this. Well, I don't know about that. You, 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 you might be like going to tell you something I like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great big handsome man. <laughs> Here, hold this. Official business, very important. You bet I will. And how? <laughs> I didn't know it was you. Oh, you didn't, huh? You're sold about that suspension. Well, you're not suspended anymore. You're discharged. That's final. Then leave my house. Not until I find my wife and that little guy she's with. Don't you make any noise in here. As I live and breathe, station house, the kid himself. Well, what's the matter? What happened? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just a little accident, that's all. You look like you've been in a jam. <laughs> See, I've got a swell gal I want you to meet. Good, where is she? You wait here, I'll bring her right in while you get the pie out of your mustache. Good. Where have you been, you naughty boy? I've been looking for you. I want you to meet a friend of mine. Oh, but I'd rather be with you. Oh, but you can't have everything, Annabelle. Besides, this is official business. Come on in here. Annabelle, this is the friend I want you to meet. Well, well, well. Hot char, you work fast, don't you, Walrus? I'll go get Grouse Dark and we'll all have some fun. I hardly know you. Ah, but you're young yet, my dear. I can it so. You're the man with my wife. Why? No wonder you wanted to suspend me. Well, I'm not working for you now. Yes, but smelt, smelt. I... Oh, Grousey! <laughs> Give me that thing. You're too careless, my old. Say, the commissioner's here. Come on in. The party's just starting to get hot. Okay. And smelt, if you'll just not say a word to anybody, I'll promote you to the rank of captain, and uh, we'll forget all about that six-week suspension. I'll accept that proposition. Thanks, Smoltz. Now come here, let's go home. Not until I find that little guy that stole my car. Well, well, how are the two little lovebirds? Not so loud, not so loud. What's the matter, what happened? Our husband just caught us together. Very embarrassing. Maybe you didn't play your cards right. So you deceived me, after all I've been to you. Oh, Commissioner, it's always the man who pays and pays. Speaking of pain, if you two won't say a word to a soul, I'll promote you to the rank of sergeant. Your secret is safe with us. What a break for us, Grouse Dark. Are we set and pretty? <laughs> oh, and by the way, I want you to meet your new captain. He's right here. I'll call him. Oh, uh, Captain Smoke. Did you hear that, Annabelle? We're promoted. I want you to meet the two new sergeants. Oh, sergeant, Captain Smoke. Whoa! There's the guy. And there's the pie. Oh, my God.